Now then, when you're recording a movie, if you can, it's a good idea to use an external microphone. And to that end, what I've done is I've connected up a lavalier mic, a wide lavalier mic, to my Zoom H2. Uh, what I did today was I recorded a movie and I recorded sound separately. Now what I want to do is I want to marry those two up. So the first thing that I did there was to go to my movie that I've ingested into Final Cut and to make a copy of the clip. So here's the copy of the clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open it with Amadeus Pro. Now when I open it with Amadeus Pro, what basically it is going to do is going to throw away all the movie part of it and just leave me with the sound. So here we go, we've got the sound that came in from the movie clip. And basically this is going to be got rid of, so all I need to, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just turn this into a mono track because we're going to use this to help me line up the other track from the sound recorder, the Zoom H2 that I'm using. So let's just go back to Finder again and we'll bring in the sound file. Just got to drag that and drop it in there. If we go to the uh, front of this here, you'll see that uh, there is a sound. And that sound, basically what it is, it's a clap that I did. I wanted a nice sharp sound at the beginning of the recording. So I could use the clap on the movie to line up with the clap in the zoom recorder. Because basically we want to have this so that when I'm speaking on the movie, I don't want it to sound like um, it's a bad dub Chinese movie. So. so that's a clap over here, is this clap over here. Let's chop that out first of all and zoom in a bit closer. Still got a bit more to go there to uh, line it up. And line it up some more. It's going to be too much. And we'll zoom in closer again. Now, see this uh, bit here? What we could do there is we could put a marker on top of that to help us line it up. So now I've got to go to the right hand side of that marker. It's where it starts to uh, rise. So, about there, I want to chop that back to just to the marker so let's just zoom in a bit closer and you can see we've got it pretty well lined up actually now haven't we we don't want to do any chopping out of the uh, this track here at the top actually wouldn't uh, be a good idea at all if I was to play this now it should line up pretty well so there was no sort of clap clap it was just one single clap we go a bit further on to where I actually start speaking So again, we don't get any overlap of those things there. Now this track at the bottom here does need a little bit more sort of uh, dealing with. So let's first of all um, select all of it. And we're going to do a amplify. We're going to amplify it by, uh, let's see, it needs quite a bit of amplifying actually because it's quite low. I have to uh, use a different setting on the zoom next time I do some of this recording. And I'm going to click on apply. So there you go, you can, uh, we can see it's a little bit better now. Well, here I am out in the jungle. So there we are, out in the jungle, and it lines up absolutely perfectly. It's as simple as that. Now, the other problem that I have with this thing here is that uh, if we go to this bit here just before I start talking, you'll hear it a little bit better. There's quite a bit of hiss in there, isn't there? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that all of that there, and I'm going to go to Effects and go to Denoising, what I could do is I could, first of all, select a selection of uh, the white noise that we have there. So let's see what I could do is I could just select this bit here, go to Effects, Denoising and Sample Noise, select all of it again, go to Effects and go to Suppress Noise and that will do a job for me of suppressing the noise. There's no settings that we can make within Amadeus Pro to be able to say exactly how we want it. Well, here I am out in the jungle. Well, that's not too bad, actually. It doesn't always work so well, but another option you might consider, let's uh, just do a Command Z on that, just to bring it back again. So another option that you might want to consider to uh, get rid of the noise is to uh, select it all, go to Effect, go to Denoising and Suppress White Noise. Now this I found to be quite a good way of doing it because you can use Preview and change the amount of noise that you're going to suppress 
That's doing quite a good job of getting rid of the hiss. Well, here I am out in the jungle. I'll just turn and that back down and it's uh, put a lot more hiss back into it. Wild boar. I found a track. You don't want to take too much and out of this. I think we're going to be lucky today. They're dangerous creatures. But still hit a bit of hiss there. Hope they don't chase a bit of hiss still. Now that sounds pretty good. I've got pretty rid of all the hiss on that there. If I take it too far, as you can tell, it affects the sound quite a bit and it sounds awful. So let's just take this back down to where we had it and it was good. That uh, I think it's about 53. For some food. Say that, but like truffles. Nice round minus 54. Let's click OK on that and uh, we will find that we have a good denoised bit of sound there. So I'll go back into this again now and... Well, here I am out in the jungle. Well, here I am out in the jungle. So you can see that we've got a much better sound now in the bottom track than we have in the top track. Now, just to finish this off, what we need to do is we've got the beginning of the track sorted out so that it uh, lines up nicely there. Now what we've got to do now is we've got to go to the end of the track. Let's move right over to this side over here. And here we go. So if I'm at the end of the track here, what I want to do is I press uh, Option and the right arrow. It takes me to the very end. I put in a marker. Now I go to my second track and I click on Command and left arrow, Command right arrow. And that takes me to the end of the track and selects that bit there and press the backspace, which is the delete key. So now I have the uh, two tracks, top and bottom track, exactly the same length. At which point, because that's the uh, length of the movie track, so when we put it back into uh, movie editor of choice, and I'm going to be using Final Cut Express, what I can do is I can just line the two up and they will fit exactly. So all I need to do is to uh, delete the track. So now I have left. Just this one track could we'll probably amplify that a little bit more but uh, we'll leave it at that for the moment and i think that's uh, quite good let's just play a little bit of the sound here to see what it sounds like are the beasts protecting their young do a file save as and i'm going to save it not as a quick time movie but i want to save it as an aiff that's the one that i found to work the best and save that so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this movie in to final cut express and the way we're going to do that is click on these two things here, unhook the sound as it were. And I can get this and just drag it and drop it in there. Right at the start and now I brought the video in without the sound. Here is our AIFF file. If I bring this right to the beginning. So what I've got to do is I've got to click on that and click on that and then bring the sound in. So let's bring the sound in to overwrites. And there you see it lines up perfectly. And we can prove that it lines up perfectly by going to somewhere where I'm talking. And let's find out if I'm talking in a Chinese dubbed movie or not. So let's render it first and then come back to it. Now then I've got the uh, two things working nicely in the uh, timeline now. And if I uh, press play on this. They're dangerous creatures. So you can see that uh, it all lines up quite nicely and that's working quite well. So the thing to do is to select all of it and press Command L. And that links it to, you can see the link because you've got a underline underneath the uh, thing there and then the uh, underline there as well. So if I deselect that and if I go to that, I should be able to move that and move the whole thing. I don't lose my alignment. 